February 4th, uh, select board minutes are in our own. First order of business is the approval of minutes of January 28th. Are there any additions, subtractions, edits? stand with the culvert behind the legion? Uh, ain't much we can do with that until we get it looked at this spring. I mean, the water's going to... It's only going to happen when we have lots of rain. And, you know, I cleaned out along the edge of the road again to try to the water to run. They found the snow in the culvert, in the ditch, so it's not helping it either. So we have to clean that out, probably be able to do that night, but... Well, I think it was in the 50s today, it was supposed to be warm after a week, right? So. 
there isn't much we can do per se for that water. Right. You know. Okay. Uh, it's gonna run across the back lot and down. You know, they weren't getting water in the building, but we were getting the flash floods down along the right. along the driveway and stuff. It was about six inches of water coming across on it. We actually pulled the road off. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So and that was washing out the gravel on the other mm -hmm. side. So, but it also washed out about two hundred feet of gravel coming down the hill. So because the dishes aren't deep enough. And So in the springtime, you're going to try to re-ditch there? Or? We'll try to ditch, yes. We can. We've got to replace a culvert that goes between, up to the quarter well. It's okay. too small and it's too high. It's actually almost out of the ground. Mm -hmm. So the water's not flowing good enough to eliminate some of that problem. And that's our culvert? Okay. Oh, we're, we're trying to figure out all the... Okay, I'm not fair to ask you. Okay. Um, any other questions for George about culvert? Um, I'm sorry, so would it be? Water well, this, the, 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 the dam, I may have misspoke. The, oh. the dam that more than likely belongs to either the Legion or the Water District. Oh. Uh, so uh, that was, there was a stormwater issue, I believe. That was each side of the town. So it's complicated. Mm -hmm. All the land behind the Legion, and perhaps even some of the pavement on the back of their property there, is on water sewer land up behind it. Everything behind it along Locust Street and along Pine Street. Um, it, that's one parcel contiguous with where Porter Well is at the top of the hill. It's all water sewer this plant. The dam, though, as George is putting out, is it, it's right alongside of the road. So whether or not that's you know town infrastructure or water sewer land problem, I think is going to be an ongoing conversation. <coughs> part of it, the dam, but then the dam feeds, after the dam, the water runs down the hill, and it's supposed to go into a culvert. The culvert would be ours, which okay. is collapsed. It feeds into the our... Culvert the dam, then. Okay. Yeah. See, the water yeah. comes through the dam, there's a storm drain right there, right below the dam, and goes into a pipe. Well, it's going into the pipe, but the pipe is not making it to the next storm drain. It's coming out of the ground. Okay. So it's got to get a camera in there. It's, it's either blocked Dam, which is the water sewer district property, whether or not it's our part of our infrastructure for stormwater is, is not the problem because they cleaned it out. It's the okay. further down the collapse right. pipe. Yeah, all, okay. the, all these run into a culvert behind the legion. Right. And actually the manhole was bubbling out of the ground. There's so much water coming really? in doing this stuff. Yeah, bus driver stopped me up while I was closing the Sligo room. He said, You might want to get down by the legion. Right. The manhole covered bubbling up in the water. If, um, well, let's just play devil's advocate for a moment. There was one gentleman, at least, at the budget hearing who brought up and mm -hmm. couldn't get rid of it in Dover, right? Um, what does he do with it? That's the problem, right? If he can't take it to our transfer station, I don't think right. this individual is the kind of person who's going to dump it on the ground. No, and, and I don't either. But, and, but there's there's he may be the exception to the rule, though. So I, what uh, does a garage do with it? That's, that's, they have a company come in and pump it up. So. Right. So could but they, they have, have storage to, tanks. They'd have to pay. They probably could pay that in the garage. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, I mean, we have two garages. We're going to have to charge if we make it. Yeah. 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 I mean, the garage is going to be not cost effective. Maybe we can make a agreement. <laughs> Maybe we, have, <coughs> we can check with Paul and see if he might be willing to. There's also Rogers, too. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. 
you know, one if, one if they're one collecting it for themselves, yeah. they may. I just thought he was he was closing it down. I thought he was getting ready to retire. Well, his son's running. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Well, fine. But it's a possibility. But you know, I'm sure they must be getting rid of the somewhere. Right. Let's hope. Yeah. Yeah. But if they, you know, it's like waste store. So did Dover used to take it for Did they, did they yes. I think so. Uh, and I we're still trying to get some answers on that. If they yeah. take well, it was. I remember being on the list, right? They used to give us a list of all the different things. I thought I, I didn't think Andy Creed was on any of the. Uh, yeah. When we did it, Bill Andy Creed was on five. Oh, okay. They mm -hmm. started collecting it at the time we were at the uh, transfer station. Bill, they got a job. They do. It. They do. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, they had a lot of garages, a lot more people changing their oil in town and stuff. Mm -hmm. that they want to get rid of it too. Uh, mm -hmm. This we had what one call one person asking. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, it's most people ain't working on their cars anymore because the cars are so confusing to work on. <laughs> if you don't have all the equipment, you you know. Oh, so we have posting of roads. Um, we kept saying we wanted to wait until after uh, the delivery session was after, so we can start talking I about it. I don't know if you want to look into that door, uh, you know, the, the weight limits you're talking about. Yeah, I, I mean, I still think it's worth looking into it. I, mean, I think we should have a meeting of the, the Highway Safety Committee. Sure. Because I mean, we brought it up there. You're both, you're both on it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, bring it up there and see what they think. Yeah. I'll, I'll send a note to yeah, the Yeah, and I think Bob was pretty much in favor of doing the same. He was. Um, so we discussed a couple of different things. Um, posting the roads that are likely to get this sort of thing. The Foundry Street there is already posted. Yeah, or make a, or make an ordinance. Yeah, but that, heavy trucks. that gets right. more complicated because we can't go stick a stump sign out on Route Four because it's not our road. But right. Um, not that we could. Silver so Street's not ours either. Yeah. Wrong. Right. Most right. of the roads at the time. No, and those roads, you, right. can, you can't post them roads anyway. Yeah. Right. You can't post them. Right. If you put an ordinance at the town border stating that all yeah. local roads are posted for 26,000 pounds or less, yeah. except for local deliveries, like go with it. They have that coming into your town. Into town. They have it on uh, Reynolds <coughs> and they have it everywhere. All your, you know, right. roads except, except for post uh, non-posted roads. I mean, non local deliveries. But all your roads in coming into town are not our roads. Oh no, and you can't you can't do anything about the state roads. You can't no, touch the No, state no, but you're saying post it on a, coming into town. You must be able to put something on there must be town property somewhere at the border that we can put a sign at. Or even ask the state. You know, about putting a sign at our border. But it's you know, as long as they see it when they're coming into town mm -hmm. and they see there's an ordinance in place I have no objection to the, to the highway safety committee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would ordinance require town? Um, Not for roads. Not for roads. Roads and there's, there's only very few things that we're allowed to, to change without town meeting approval. But the transfer station board, I'm going to get it set up that way. And so I guess they could get the story to deal with you know, the public ways of conveying. I mean, it's just some way of, you know, less than the burden on. I mean, you, you can put 
post it all your life, but right. they and still do it. it. I see it. Oh yeah, and, and every single go day. I mean, but I bet you do. Yes. Uh, but if they can, if they do see him and stop him, they have pups. They have the ability to deal with it. Why? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. I, I would say. Yeah. Are you the chair of the? I, I um. Yeah. I'm supposed to still be the chair, but I am the chair. Well, you won't be until March at least. Right. So after the election. They didn't think the, the ex officio could be the chair. Or the right. No, they're not supposed to. You're right. You're the ex officio. So who's the chair? Isn't it Bill again? It was me because. Oh, before you were on the board. Oh, yes. I see what you're saying. I didn't realize you were on the four miles. Yeah. Right. I think I think we met. Oh, thank you for your password. Oh, we, only had one, we had one meeting. We had one meeting. Uh, we'll, we'll get it straight. Maybe out. you could send an email to Bob and ask him if he would just call it as. Or you could just call the meeting as. The first meeting as the exit yeah. show and say we need to elect a chair, seeing that I'm no longer. That can be part of your agenda. Yes. It can. Um, yeah. That would be good. And Bill Irvin's on it, and is Bill, Howard Hammond still on it? No. I didn't know the other gentleman. Howard wouldn't see it. Howard Howard wasn't there. He he resigned. Oh, okay. Gillis. Mike. Mike Gillis. Okay. All right. All right. So hopefully one of those two will. Mike is here. Agreed. Yeah, not Mike. Okay. Alrighty. Perfect. Anything else for George? Alright. Well, I got one question. Oh, sure, of course. The, uh, did you do anything on Anthony? Oh. Okay. I'm not it's like a no, George. No, no, no. It's it, I, I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head. Um, I believe it's cheaper. Yeah, it is. I, I, I'm believing it's cheaper. He's, he's, what he's asking is, can the highway department switch over the internet to Comcast and get rid of their Wi-Fi? Right, I thought we so already discussed this. Right. We looked at well, it, and it was cheaper, right? Right, right. and so it was budgeted for this, and he's just looking for the blessing to go ahead and do that. Well, but if it's cheaper than the budget and right. the money that we were supposed to We gave up the oh, phone. Oh, it was cheaper. Yeah. We already gave up because the phone. Because he gave up the phone. Yeah, the transfer station and tied it in balance. Okay. And then so given up the phone. Yeah, so until, until, um, until the election in March, you're allowed to spend money at whatever level you would have a contractual sum. Mm -hmm. And this is less than that. Right, so. Yeah, I mean, you're saving money. We get online and we just move it. You know, a lot of times mm -hmm. it's, it's white, but I mean, it's uh, internet, not a two cable. Mm -hmm. I mean, through your telephone. Mm -hmm. So we move our internet a lot. But it's going to take them a little time to get to you anyway, so I mean, we have the to make the appointment. And we have the cable already. If we are going to move forward, we're I mean, we could selling it. We could run it. You know, I mean, just to how long it's going to come in time it's going to take before that is that. Yeah, right. That's and you're starting with Ether, you said? Yeah, and that's it's something you don't want to do too often. All right, it's probably not very safe, right? Well, it's, it's, doing it's it. okay. It's just that it, it's not a recommended practice. It's really legal if you don't feel like it. They used to have to sign that way in the back. Get it looked at, and we'll go from there. But uh, like I said, I don't want to do it too long before. All right, well, keep us posted.
Are you? I'm glad you're feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> we're not feeling well. I'm sorry. We're not. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Since last Wednesday. You had down with the flu. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm waiting for my turn. So. Well, it was. It was what it was. So. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to introduce the board, uh, Mitchell Brooks, our, our recent hire. Mitchell, we have Mike Rowe, he's oh, the chair. Nice to meet you. Denise Mills. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Miles England. And then our, our, our new television Caroline. Nice to meet you, Matt. Hi there. <laughs> uh, if you would, just tell the board a little bit about yourself and how uh, you got to this point. Yep, so I grew up in, uh, my grew up in Burke, Maine. My grandparents live in town, so I grew up in the, in the town. Maine. And then I moved to Boston for my college at Southern New Hampshire University. Bachelor's degree from there. Um, I went on. I worked for the Rochester Police Department for a year, and now I'm here. The grandparents live. I live in Oh, they live in. Oh, they live in I thought you said they lived in Burwick. I'm like, well, that's nice. But yeah. Yeah. Who, who are they? I grew up in Rolling Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I was their paper boy for <laughs> 16 years or so. I don't know. We won't say how many years ago. <laughs> Two years ago, right? Yeah. Great. Awesome. Welcome aboard. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you have, have they already started or not until we started? Today, today is the first today day. Today was your first day. day. All right. Um, but I do have one more form that we need to have the, uh, the board's uh, hiring authority signature on. And this is a form E, which just indicates that we are. Uh, looking for certification based upon prior training and certification of the academy. Send you back there. Yes. So you don't need to. So you probably don't want to go back if you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> so you went to the academy with Sean, right? Yes. At the yes. same time. Yes, same time. Who's he been training with so far? Me. You. <laughs> All right, well. Start, I was just going to say. For the first couple is going to be a split shift uh, yeah. until we get through all the, the rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for a couple of hours, we'll ride with Will. And then once, once we get through all the paperwork part, then we will strictly be with, with Will for the duration. Okay. So, yeah. I would like to schedule with the board either next Monday or the following Monday, depending on your schedule, so that we can do a swearing in ceremony. Wonderful. Uh, I'd like to have the board participate in that, present it with a badge, yeah. so we invite family and friends and whatnot. So whatever the schedule works best for you by the next Monday or the Monday afterwards? I'm thinking next Monday might be better. Okay. If, that's what, if it works for you. Sure. And for you. Yeah. Anything here, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is, is that going to be up here? Sure. Okay. Here, yeah. Should we plan for like 7 o'clock for that? I said you want to go at the beginning of the meeting, whatever is easier for you. I mean, we have guests coming or family. Yeah. So, whatever. We're flexible. We can. We've made it through the delivery session, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's all <laughs> easy first. sailing now. Yeah, yeah. So, it's uh, or easier, well, that's, I that's guess. That's yeah. right. so well, we'll, we'll be here for 6.30. Okay. okay. So, if you want to get you know, other stuff out of the way first, sure we'll put that on for the first yeah, thing on the agenda. For us. Yeah. Perfect. Before we do anything. That's all the life on the board tonight. Anything for me? Hey, I want to go into non public talk about personnel for a moment. I'm sorry, Nick, you have to leave for a second. But, uh, well, but congratulations. It's wonderful yes. to have you on. Tell your grandparents I said hi. And uh, we'll see you next week. That's where you went, all right? Yeah, thank you. All right. So I need a motion to go into non public for a personnel. So moved. Second. He's going to send us an email, an update on that. Uh, yes. It's not, it's not here yet. That's okay. He's going to send us an email update on uh, the progress. Over at the Junker on some of those votes. So we will stay tuned for that. Uh, fire, we're waiting to see if he comes in tonight. If not, that's okay. We'll talk on the phone. We <coughs> on the town administration. Um, the deliberative session, the first deliberative session for uh, for the town has, has gone past um, and survived. Um, and the next thing on our agenda is the uh, report, the town report. Um, I'm halfway through the um, select board report to the town. I need to send it over <coughs> to Caroline, who's going to go through it, and I'll send it to both of you to go through. Of course, it's all just been done now. So, but, um, what when is it due? Well, the actual report is due on the town report is due. I believe what, it's March fifth. Okay. It's pretty so. soon, um, but we have another you know week or week and a half that we can still submit things. And we have we're getting the reports in from all the other committees. That's the 
Yeah. The real, the real thing of chafing those those people yes, around. Um, who's going to do it for Penn and Boyd? That's a really good question, and I. Um, maybe we can talk about yeah. that. Why committee? That committee. Well, we were all chair, right? <laughs> Everyone got a turn. Well, I guess time. John didn't become chair until. Yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> Dear John, <laughs> since you were now you're fired on the Ferris thing to do to someone, so you two are gonna. Uh, Work on it together then? There weren't a lot of cases in no, 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 no. 2018, were there? No, no, no. Um, Sarah keeps, well, I mean, the minutes reflect it, but Sarah usually has a, <coughs> keeps a running tally. I've been looking at past reports, and uh, this one, I don't think I looked at this yet, I didn't have it online, but um, they're all, they run the gamut between really detailed to pretty sparse. what it should do. It, it goes by month and talk about what happened because there wasn't a lot going on in, in, in 2017. So, so I, I don't think you had a whole heck of a lot more in 2018, but maybe a little bit. So doable, I guess, is my point. Yeah. Uh, is the uh, clerk going to send us, uh, will send us a proof of what she worked on so we can take a look at it? The so biggest thing is the uh, Yes, it is, and she and I were working on that today. Uh, she's going with a printer, I think, tomorrow just to start talking about um, layout and such. Um, I think we have the elected officials under control. I would always like more eyes to see it. Um, that one is not in the drive, but I did share with you this afternoon um, okay. the town report, all the individual reports in the drive. They're all they're little, oh, they're there they're separate folders. Oh. Um, I'm waiting on a few, but what we have is, is in there, with the exception of um, Kate's stuff, the elected officials. So, um, a couple of weeks ago, um, Charlie Dion made a, a suggestion. Now, as I was going back and looking at old town reports, um, the holidays. town holidays yeah. used to be printed on the in, out of this page, inside cover, or one of the pages in the very first few pages. And I think it was out of point. If it's a town holiday, clearly the town hall transfer station wouldn't be open that day because people would understand so they do one less excuse as to why they don't know. So yes. I think he, that he brought up. I think it's a so good valid point. She so. added a sentence on the page that has all the office hours that says that the town follows all the federal holidays. Yeah. Um, so there's that. But for this year it's not going to be a problem, but it does get complicated for, you know, potentially for future years and we have to be careful because if there's a holiday that falls on a Saturday, mm -hmm. the transfer station will be closed, right. but the town office will be closed on that Monday. So uh, it's hard to make okay. it really simple. Right, so, right, so right. So the transfer station will be closed on Monday, but they'll be closed on Saturday? Right. Yeah. Huh. Is that always, <laughs> or is that by choice, but based on the holiday? That was a policy that was set. Oh, you know, oh, because it's, it's the actual yeah. holiday, like it makes sense that they would be hold, like closed for the actual holiday. I, I suppose you could tell them that they'll be they'll follow the town hall. In either way, it has to get addressed, and it probably yeah. isn't going to get resolved for the printing of the report. So for now, it says that we follow the the federal holidays. Um, and I think the only reason we changed it is because it was such an uproar by folks wanting to use the transfer station. Um, sa well, Saturdays is the busier day. Yeah. But all federal holidays, if it's on the weekend, are celebrated on Monday. What so is that? Huh? That that comes to the Tuesday. Like Fourth of July. July. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That well, that's the only. Yeah, that's the only Fourth one. Fourth of July. Um, but if it if it fell on a Saturday, they would get Monday off because they don't work Saturday. They get veterans day regardless. So if it's on the weekend, they're going to get the Monday. So. Okay. So. All right, so maybe oh, we don't put it on the inside cover then. I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was a good idea, but it is a good idea, and um, if I, I like the front cover idea, we could do it for this year. We could just have to be careful about going forward that we um, make sure that we're consistent and we're not contradicting ourselves. You know. <laughs> well, if, if we're it's nothing, we're consistent. I'd like to have extra CIP that's in there too, because that wasn't in there last year. Yeah. 
What's that? Where the See, it's not in there. See, actually. As a committee, like as a no, the report, report. Okay, the, that's the spreadsheet. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. It didn't make. Um, well, really? so the, I didn't see it. I think it's hard because it's um, it's big. It's big. Yeah. So making it legible oh, it in there would be really challenging. So we could, you know, delete some yeah. columns. Well, it's on the, no, it in the new press conference, right? Uh, it, it depends on year to go out, I guess. Yeah. Well, you're only going to do the, the act of ten. Oh, okay. I don't I didn't see it. We both we both like right. Yeah, I don't think it is in there. Oh that's not good. But I think it's it could be very much just like this. Right, exactly. Yeah, it wouldn't be any bigger than that. It might be wider. At the ten um Oh that one? The tent the road plan. It wouldn't be any different than that. It might be taller. Okay. I'll I'll see if we can format it. Or the other one was the press one. Yeah, that's that's, that was a little so that's more back here somewhere in a weird place. Mean, but it's tiny. Tiny, but Well, so the other thing is that the 10-year road plan, which you were just showing mm -hmm. me, and, yeah. and the CIP yeah. um, need updating. Mm -hmm. The board should approve them before they're... Yeah, so I've been working on it, and I got myself thoroughly confused with it. Um, I'm meeting with Carolyn tomorrow, so... Um, hopefully get it sorted out. That's, okay. Okay. that's sorted out in my mind, so mm -hmm. I'll bring it back next so week. And we can put it on the agenda for next week yeah. that we approve sure. that. You all approve the 20 road plan. That works for me. Okay. okay. All right, so anything else we need to talk about on the, um, on the town report? Uh, <coughs> we have budget committee secretary posting. We've sent it to uh, the two... Um, uh, applicants over to John Ordway. We're waiting to hear back from him to see who we'd like to uh, interview or who we'd interview or, or uh, how we'd like to proceed. If he doesn't want to accept either of them or how we want to proceed, basically. Okay. Uh, the Oak Street right of way, the continuing saga of Oak Street. So this is about the proposal, um, the application in front of the planning board for two non so tomorrow night is the planning board meeting, oh, and um, John Krebs. We're, 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 we're meeting the planning board tomorrow night. It's the the school deliberative session. Mm -hmm. It is, but the planning board never re we never rescheduled. rescheduled. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So the deliberative session, I believe, starts at six. So yeah. you've got almost an hour. Okay. Yeah, I know. I need like five. To go Shovel some food quickly and then run to it. Yeah, that's, that's not a problem. So it, it's not for the first step in the process, but um, our planning consultant would appreciate legal advice and permission to call upon legal counsel for, um, for later in this process, should this project get that far. Um, the, um, the idea of what people can propose to do on lots that do not conform to zoning because they pre-existed zoning is not something that we've dealt with a lot before and so he would like help with that. So the planning board in the past has used John Radigan as a um, consultant attorney. This is, they'd like to keep it separate from the town's attorney which is probably, probably better because the town attorney is um, not a land use, doesn't yeah. specialize just specifically in that. Mm -hmm. and Mr. Radigan does so that's why the planning board likes we have money set aside for the planning board to hire consultants like that. So. Can I ask a question about that? So I went to try to look at it to see what to the visual of it. it. So it's when you're heading from Dover to going through four, it's on your left, right? Right after right the, after the right bridge. After the bridge with a big barn is in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's a house on the side. So where is it that they're going to build? Right, right behind, behind the house that's on the road. Behind the house. But along the railroad track. And but the railroad track is here, the house is here. So, you They're go right. over the bridge, yeah. and there's this barn, yeah. and there's a house, yeah. and these are the two lots right there. Oh, okay, but the a railroad track is over here. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. All right. Okay. so they're proposing to build behind the house and then in front of the barn. Correct. There are oh. two small lots in between. Do they own the barn? No. Okay. I believe they only own these two lots. So, oh, okay. That barn doesn't go with that house. Interesting. 
Uh, Maybe it I, does, I, I but know. these two lots are completely the separate. Really? Oh, really. Right. And so the other thing that's complicated is that this is a right-of-way. It's not a road. It's not a driveway. I mean, right. they are it's using it as a driveway. It's a deeded easement? That's not clear to me. And I haven't read the application entirely. But um, right. but Krebs wants to talk to Bradigan to make sure of that. That should it get as far is. as the planning board to really consider right. oh, this. So they're not, the application is not in front of the planning board. Um, it is, but only well, for determining question. whether or not the site is suitable. How many of those lots? Um, they are. are in there. Well, so the minimum That's lot size is um, two acres because it's country residential. They're, I, I don't want to quote it exactly, but they're like maybe a quarter of an acre or something. They're not like super Huge. tiny, but they're like, yeah. So they, they certainly don't make the, the cut. For there, for right. that district. Because then right. you got wooded area, and then you got what these house, right? Went after that. I'm not sure exactly what our house is. Oh, so okay. yeah. But place. there's yeah. wooded. Yeah. Okay. So there's wooded area. So then it, it would be in that wooded area as well as where they're gonna yeah. propose this road. It's, um, okay. I'm not. I don't. I don't think there are woods there. I don't know. It's well, like a, a, it's a, there's like a, ten trees there. So. Yeah. I mean. All right. Hundred, but you can't. Trees. If you stood there, you probably couldn't see through yeah. where the next house is. Tiny lots, yeah. They're tiny lots, yeah. and they're also like th there's huge slopage right here from yeah, the back the of the lots track. to the railroad tracks, and you know well, it's a consideration of the planning all board all if that's tiny, a suitable yeah. use for single family home, yeah. or or at least you know maybe requiring some kind of barrier for safety because that's yeah extremely. And there are a right of way. Right. So so an argument that may before the ZBA and the planning board through this process is that because they predate zoning that nothing about zoning should apply to them. You can argue against it. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that's where um, Mr. Krebs is looking for help. I think he should, we should reach out to Radigan. Uh, he should reach out to Radigan so we have the, the best information mm -hmm. moving forward. I, mean, mm -hmm. I think we want to screw it up for the town or for the applicant. Fair no process, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Miles, you are our planning board rep. Uh, would say that we're in agreement that Mr. Krebs is authorized to reach out to the attorney. Um, um, so, I think we should go through the process for tomorrow night, and we're only deciding the suitability. The suitability, yeah. And then after that, okay. Um, if, if they determine it's not, then it, I think the process. It's not, I it's agree with you. So, if the planning board votes tomorrow night to, and agrees that it's suitable, yeah, then you can let. Yeah, absolutely. The Krebs never talked to Mr. Radigan. Yeah. Um, it may be helpful for ZBA as well because the next the next step is ZBA. So ZBA may need help with this as well. I'm not sure. Charlie Putnam's probably not aware of the application yet since it has to get to planning. Sure. Um, but equally, I can think that they might want some help. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck with that. Basically, committee membership. So, um, we uh, we obviously clearly didn't move forward with the um, with the recommendation on um, you know, the police slash town hall. So, um, I'm going to turn it over to President to um, fire up the committee again um, and have them look at options again. You know, I, I, I'm not going to say that it is or it isn't possible, right, but it, it's, you know, it sounds like it's possible and it was something that he was going to go back to the construction company and confirm with them. Okay. So we also need to uh, see if folks want to stay on the committee or if we want to add um, a 
additional members. I think adding additional members <coughs> might be a good idea. If it helps. I'm not the I'm not the, the board rep, so I don't want to step on your toes on this, but there were folks that were concerned about um, the committee and the select board not looking at repurposing this building mm -hmm. and what that would cost. Uh, there was a but that annual. wasn't the charge, though, you understand that, right? That was not given to us as a charge to also look at that. It was, it to, uh, it was to look at uh, the, the best um, best alternatives, wasn't it, for the, for the police department? I don't, I'd have to look up the... So, we never got to... Um, we sort of started to go into one direction, and we didn't, we didn't finish looking at all of the options. I don't think we started. We looked at there was the notion that we were going to. Where's my phone? There was a notion that we were going to rent out space in another police station. That didn't pan out. Mm -hmm. um, then there was what was the other notion that someone wanted us to look at? Um, contracting out to um, contracting out to an, uh, like the county, state police. Some of those were Dover, right? Yeah. Well, none of that works out either, right? So we looked into that, we, and we can say why it didn't work out. So I think people appreciated that. They understand, okay, well, they did that. Um, and there are there only so much time. I get that. So I'm not faulting you. I'm just saying that this is our new opportunity to look at maybe a different direction. We still have the information from Silver Street. That doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. So and it's still a viable option. It's just um, what does it mean to... Um, Either have the police department stay where they are, and what what does um, what would need to be done to this building to make that happen? I think we have part of it. Um, what would it mean if we took that red house behind us, that apartment building behind us, um, that's been for sale off and on over the years, and converted that to a police station or office space? And if that was what Banwell had uh, had looked at a little bit, didn't they, Caroline? I think expanding. I wasn't too keen on them as a firm in general, but it was what it was. Um, so anyway, I, I think it might be might be useful to to keep the committee going, or do we completely say, okay, that committee has done its its due diligence, we reform we form a new committee with a new charge. I mean, I'm I'm open to whatever folks want to do, but I think we owe it to to both the police and the residents to, to continue looking at options. And maybe it, we, it's a fool's errand looking at these options and we just automatically go back to to the plan for Silver Street, but at least then we can go back and say, look, all of you folks that say we're fools for wanting to build it, we should be saving this building, this and what we can or we can't do it here. At least we have the answer. Well, my opinion is that we maintain the space needs committee membership, okay. but we have subcommittees from that because uh, there's too much work for uh -huh. four people to do the work. Yeah, that is I'm the sure. bottom line. I'm sure. So I would like to see a subcommittee on what to do with this and, and report back to the space needs, but then we'll report back to the select board. Um, and then a subcommittee about possibly this or you know Silver Street or whatever, but we need to have we need the people to step up and help us because it's not enough time to do it ourselves. So, I mean, that's, that's not, because up of the space needs was myself, Bob, uh, Bill Irving, and Kim Taylor. And Charlie. And Charlie. And Charlie Fine. I knew there was one other one. And when I was on it, um, it was the same group, but the only people that showed up were Char um, Bill or Charlie, not always consistently, yeah, yeah. myself and the chief. Yeah. But, I mean, we would, we would have the the subcommittee's report to them, to us, and then that would give us mm -hmm. decisions so right. that we bring them back. And, and the know. committee, I think, would also need to have a deadline as to when to report back to the, the subcommittee. The, the, the subcommittee Absolutely. report to your that yep. committee, yep. and that committee reporting back to the select board yep. because yep. it was it was so I mean, there was a lot of work that needed to go into it. And yes. I guess a lot of moving yep. parts, waiting to hear back yep. from property owners that didn't happen, all that. Oh, I know. But. Yeah. It was given to us so late that, mm -hmm. I mean, we were rushed, 
right? So I don't want us to get in that situation again. No. If, um, if we're going to move forward, if there needs to be bonds, I imagine a, a project of this size, regardless of what it is, would probably require we need time to, mm -hmm. to, to actually go through the process and, and, and do it right and not be rushed so we're not missed it. Well, I think we've all learned the lesson of what this concludes has done to us. Everything is pushed up. Everything is pushed up, and we have to start way earlier for sure. um, to make sure that we meet all of our deadlines. And we know. I mean, that's the other thing. I mean, it's sort of off topic, but it's not. I mean, it's we need to be working, we need to work our schedule with the budget committee yep, yep. to say, the way it worked this time isn't going to work because we need to start a month or two before yeah. we started this year. Yeah. So Absolutely. Everything has moved up at least uh, four weeks. So At least, yeah. yeah. And making sure we have clear deadlines and we, you know, it's all documented so we know, yeah. like bonding, all those deadlines, you know, we have to have it so people, all, everyone who's involved knows it. Right, so. We're all on the same calendar. Um, I can call a meeting of the space needs, and um, I'm sure not one of them is going to disagree that we need additional help. So, so um, <coughs> Charlie mentioned to me on Saturday that he intended to resign mm -hmm. because he felt like it was in conflict with his That's position moderator. as the moderator. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So would you, you know, so the next, I had sent out an email, and you probably know this, to all of the board's committees um, telling them mm -hmm. who was up. Mm -hmm. uh, with the exception of this committee, because I wanted you all to weigh in on mm -hmm. what the new charge is and whether or not it was going to be the same committee and all those things. Um, because you're pleading for more help, mm -hmm. do you want to, um, I was going to put an email out to the public and say, volunteer for the following boards mm -hmm. and committees mm -hmm. and see. I think you should probably email the existing board members and see if they want to be reappointed. I've done that. Yeah. I've done the, the, the space needs one though? Oh, no, no, no. That's no, what I mean. That's yes, what I'm saying. Yes, yes. Reach out to those folks first before yes, you start. Right. A, a general yeah. call, because they're going to be like, well, well, I guess I'm not wanted yeah, anymore. No, well, that's, no, that's no, not no. the case. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yes, I will do that. But also to the public, because you want more members anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so we first, we got to figure out, all right, how many members do we really need? You know, I mean, we want to make sure we have enough people that can go in different directions and, and bring it in. So. And if either one of you want to take over my position, you're more than welcome to. I mean, I'm not. Um, I mean, you certainly can. What I, I also would like to um, be happy is we reach out to. We, we have a list of. We have the minutes on the public hearing, right? Mm -hmm. So folks that were asking questions. Oh, yes. Perhaps, questions perhaps those, those folks people. might want to actually be involved. Mm -hmm. On either side. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. not trying to stack it one way or another. I mean, mm -hmm. if they were for or against or whatever, mm -hmm. if they had questions. We couldn't answer. Maybe they might be willing to take us yeah. some time. Yeah. Maybe not, but at least we should ask them. Right. Are we okay with that then? Yep. Okay. Easy little task. To take <laughs> well, it, you know, it's the the one good thing is we have a, we have more time this time around to start planning. So. Alrighty. So the next thing we have is the policy review, the welfare rules. Um, have um, an amended um, version of the welfare policy that you're going to email to us, Caroline, to take a look at, or is it going to one more revision first? I would like to give it one more revision before I send it to the board, okay. according to the answer to the following question, which is, does the board desire to still be the final decision maker with regard to welfare? which is one of the things that keeps you meeting weekly and can hold up welfare. Um, but it's your right and that's fine. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to delegate that responsibility in the guidelines? And the reason I say that is because the guidelines are very specific. So they need to be written one way or the other. So you don't have to decide that tonight, um, but you need to think about that so that we, I, I can revise it accordingly before you all review it. So if we delegate, we aren't privy to what happens with welfare? It's You're always privy to what happens uh, with okay. welfare. You just don't have to um, okay. take up a Monday night meeting about it, yep. or we can still meet and talk about whatever was decided, um, but it's not waiting for a Monday night to happen. So would you yeah. put a, um, like a dollar amount authorization, or just authorization in general? I would say authorization in general, just because I don't think that it would ever 
go beyond a certain amount just because of the way that it's administered. That people are, you know, people are never given a month's worth of rent mm -hmm. anymore, or if it is, they're on Section 8 and it's $250 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's going to be thousands of dollars at a time anyway, but I think you can also put in the guidelines, for example, that there's um, weekly or monthly reporting on whatever the expenses are so that you're brought up to speed about whatever the cases are, whatever the needs are, without the decisions necessarily getting bogged down. Yeah, you, you can think about it. It's um, so. Do we have something in writing right now? Yes, and you're welcome to to read it. It's yeah. um, a lot of pages. It's a lot of reading. So I was trying to save your time until it was written one way or the other. But mm -hmm. I can share it with you if you want to start looking it over. It's all yeah. about process and yeah. rights with regard to the law that says we have to do this. Um, it's the guidelines that we have are working copies that went through um, legal and got adopted in Rochester, Dover, Summersworth, Barrington, Portsmouth. That they're all like all the area is operating on these same guidelines. Um, yeah. They like can't shop from town to town. Yeah. 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 Right, so yeah. that everybody's getting consistent service and. Yeah. We all deal with them the same way. Um, they all have, and Farmington, they all have um, either full time staff dedicated to it or else dedicated staff. Um, none of their boards are, are making these decisions. So it wasn't written that way, mm -hmm. which is not to say that it can't be written that way, but there are comments. Um, Su Suzanne went through and did a lot of edits and made a lot of suggestions. So that there, there are things that are highlighted um, which reference um, RSAs that she is suggesting that we have um, town council review to make sure that those references are still up to date and accurate and necessary. Mm -hmm. um, but then there are other comments uh, which are really more for the board about do you want to operate this way or do you want to operate that way. So it's not going to be um, an overnight review process. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot to consider in there. So you send it off to us and we'll take a look at so it? So I will send it off I'm, to I mean, you. I'm not ready to make a decision tonight. I, I didn't expect other, that so. you would be. I just want you to be thinking about mm -hmm. that because it's going to hold up your approval of, of the guidelines um, until right. you decide which mm -hmm. way you want to go. Okay. Thank you. Uh, town administration. Are we all set with that one? Sorry. No, Administration, board member activity. What do we have this week? Do you want to start with you this week? Is it Miles? Um, so apparently, I plan to. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought we moved it, but I, it's not on my calendar, so I think we did. Uh, I, I'll go to the school deliberative session first, and then here at Chris Bevan. Session tomorrow night, and we have recreation on Thursday at six in here. And um, I don't know when Sarah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go tomorrow night as well. The historic committee met last week. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else. So. Uh, oh yeah, I went to. Did I, did we talk about it last week? I can't remember. I went to the um, Ninth Grade Regional. We yeah. talked about last, yes. that was last week. But I don't know. And the uh, Stratford Regional Planning Commission is meeting at the end of the month, so I'll go to that also. Yeah. That's it. And then, all right, how about uh, building permits? Oh, we, oh, it it was a lot of health. We should have deleted it. As you were going all the time. Because you were going every week oh. as, part of the <laughs> as part of the budget process. I think it was just easier to put it there as, as yeah. the update. So. All right, what do we have for building permits? Building permits. Uh, yeah, building permits. Right. I think this says 553. Silver Street, uh, building permit 2019-06, uh, 46, $4,600 worth of work, $275. $75? Yep. Yeah. HVAC work. Um, Reviewed by Mr. Clark. Uh,
did. I'm going to. I. Oh, do you need a vote? No, 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 no. I, I meant to sign it. I just filled in the, the it was granted in the okay. date. It was good until I forgot to sign it. So I'm going to sign it. Right, okay. Pass it back this way and I'll sign it. And I'll send it over to my house and sign it. Okay, next up. Those are permits. 2019-007. 40 Jesse Doe Road. Uh, American Tower. Looks like they are doing some upgrades. To the tower to the tune of twenty five thousand dollars. The fee is two seventy five. You like those? Yeah. All right. And Mr. Clark will review it. I signed it this way. Go ahead to say something. <laughs> Favorite folder for the night. <coughs> All right, I have um, I have a purchase order one five seven zero to B and D offset printing for the voter's guide for three hundred and fifty four dollars and seventy five cents. I'll second that. Okay, purchase order number fifteen seventy has been moved and second. Any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. They were lovely. They were bright green. I did not throw it away. I actually saw it. I have the 2018 year-end paid time off totals. I think they're going to be carrying forward and need to be signed by the chair. And Bobby signed it. Oh, well, I get to hang separately. Is there any objection to me signing it? Saturday off. Is that correct? Yes. That is the current situation. Okay. And then, is the CIP available to the public anywhere? Not yet. Not uh, yet. Okay. The, this year, there's yes. It's part of the budget, but not um, yeah, the 10 year projection. Okay. Thank you. Anything okay. else? Yeah, me too. I think it was last year, or maybe the year before, since Ian was talking about uh, Stratford Regional Planning Commission, having somebody who helped the town do planning, like she was talking about the village revisioning. Yeah. And I'm wondering if that shouldn't be part of the space needs committee, or having somebody there, or at least get help them think about what they need to think about. Was there, I don't remember, was there a charge from regional planning for that or the part of our dues? I don't remember. Um, I'm not sure for the revitalization idea of downtown, but they we, we are dues paying members and we get some basic level of service for that. So um, with them. we could certainly chat with them and find out what they think All about right. that. Anything else? All right, seeing none by consensus, we'll go on to 7.44. Thank you, everyone.